while the global climate is warming, around the world governments, businesses and households are investing in measures uh, to allow us a shift from a high carbon to a low carbon economy and to adapt to unavoidable climate impacts. However, questions on how to finance this transition remain largely unresolved and there include how much is needed in order to get us on such a pathway, how much investment is already flowing today, but who are the key actors behind this transition. Our global climate finance landscape focuses on this big picture and it provides the most comprehensive overview of global climate finance flows to date. Well, in 2013, total global investment was 331 billion US dollars, and this is about 28 billion or 8% less than in 2012. Total investment was almost equally split between developed and developing countries. About three quarters of total investments were made in the country of origin. Across countries, the public sector remained uh, the engine behind the international climate finance, but the private sector continued to provide the majority of climate uh, finance, and in 2013 they contributed 58% of overall climate finance flows. Actually, we can. Again, our work shows that around 80% of the sharp fall in private investment came from folding costs for some renewable technologies and particularly solar PV, where efficiencies are increasing and the unit costs are coming down. And that means that policymakers should not only focus on mobilizing investments, but also on decreasing technology costs. First of all, national commitments to reduce emissions and the several billions pledged to the Green Climate Fund are great news, but we are still falling far short of the investment need. And second, our work shows that domestic policy frameworks are critical drivers of investments, particularly for private investors. Three quarters of investment originates and is spent in the same country and private actors actually spend 90% of their investments in the country of origin. That shows that getting domestic policy framework rights is of paramount importance for uh, policymakers in order to allow private investments to scale up. Public finance is at the heart of the climate finance system as it can bridge viability gaps and cover risks uh, for which the private sector are unable or are unwilling to cover. And the international support is also important and is needed in order to fill these gaps where domestic resources are not enough. <laughs>